for your future husband, what can you offer as a Filipina? Like, I can give a lot. Yeah! Oh. I hey guys, welcome to my channel. And uh, today's video, I got these two lovely ladies. In my previous video, I talk about the Passport Bros. Most of the viewers like my videos about Passport Bros. And it seems like, yeah, you liked it. So, um, I convinced these two ladies to give their opinion as well. We'll give yeah. their opinion about it. So, are you guys ready? Yep, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, first question. Okay, so what is your opinion about Passport Bros? And what do you, uh, you think the main reason why they travel to Asian country? Um, for me, um, the Ooh. main reason why they want to travel Asian country, maybe because they are not um, satisfied mm -hmm. on uh, people or maybe places that they want to explore. And um, Philippines is one of the best places to visit. And I can say that because I mm -hmm. see a lot of expats here Specifically in Dumaguete, I guess why uh, foreigner love to be with the Philippines. It's because we are sweet, we are caring, we are loving, and we are understandable. And I guess um, some foreigners don't see that in their places, and they want to explore um, Asian country. And I think that's for me um, uh, what I understand, or what I could say, your opinion about passport pros. Yeah, so what's the main reason why they come here? Um, I cannot really speak for them. Um, I think the best people to actually answer that are the Western men themselves. I'm aware that a lot of um, people are actually having or making fun of the passport bros yeah. and, and all that. But yeah. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, I don't see why people are making fun of these people trying to find relationships. Um, Sort in of a the, different yeah. country and this is nothing new I mean it's been decades and decades that people are trying to find relationships um, to a different country so I don't see why now people are talking bad about it so I think because there's more and more mm. and more uh, you know more um, Western men that are traveling here yeah it's getting crazy it's getting a lot of yeah, but you know, like 20 years ago, 30 years ago, we've had like like aunts or neighbors. Well, back then it was like pen pal mm. writing, right? Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I don't really understand why people are, why it's such a big deal. Why passport bros are such a big deal. I, I don't see anything wrong with it. But when it comes to the reason why, I cannot speak for these men as well. Because everyone has their own taste and has their own reasons why they come here so whatever those are i don't know okay so i would say that everyone has their own opinion western women can have their own opinion against us or about us but yeah it doesn't really matter i mean you know if your opinion does not match to ours it's not a big deal for me you know if you call us uneducated or if you call us um what was the other thing? Um, submissive and all nanny. that. Nanny as well. Nannies nanny. and all that. I mean, it's not a big deal for me. I mean, that's your opinion. It doesn't have to be true. <laughs> so is it true that we are easy to manipulate? I can't speak for other women, but for me, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, the same as Shay also. We are, have our own opinion, like for example, we don't just listen to our men. That is actually true. And uh, a Filipina can actually be hard-headed. I am hard-headed myself. So for people to say I'm easy to manipulate with, um, that would be a wrong statement for me. I'm not easy to manipulate with. Yes, because, you're right. Yeah? Because I am really a hard-headed person. <laughs> <Lua. laughs> yeah, so. We, if you, especially if you had a strong feeling about it, we would just say in five Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you of fight course, for. we still, you know, our men, you know. But to you, it's different because you guys are not married yet. But to yeah. me, I am married, so I commit myself to my husband. So, but still, if you make decision, I still, you know, give my opinion. So that's not really true in most cases that we are easy to manipulate. So anyway, um, as a Filipina, 
what can you offer for your future husband? Like, I can give a lot. Yeah! Oh. I can give a lot. I can offer a lot. What yeah. are those? <laughs> to be a wife also with him would be like, of course, saying a wife, mostly here in the Philippines, we are the one who take care of them. Yeah. As what I see, we used to cook for them because that's a wife job. It's more on here in the Philippines, house duty is like wife, like mm. taking care of kids, um, cooking for them. It's not slavery. Oh, it's yeah. not a big deal. It's the way we are. That's the way we take care of our man. That's why maybe they love to be with the Filipina because they feel like they was taken, they've been taken care of very well. And I think they need that or maybe because they don't have that a lot in their places. That's why they want to go um, here in Asian, in Asian countries because they want to feel that way. So I could offer a lot. Being a good wife. Second is, of course, being a, a mom with my son. And um, I, I will just do whatever makes good for them for him actually so how about you Shay? it's very spicy <laughs> <laughs> what can you offer for your future husband what what i can offer yeah what can i offer yeah as a wife a genuine relationship yeah. a happy home um what else like you're uh, right in some way but i wouldn't say it's our job to cook for them, to clean the house and all yeah. that. Mm -hmm. We do those things because we love to do those yeah. things. We love to uh, make our man happy. That's why we do them. We don't do them because it's our job. Yeah. That's how I see it. Yeah, we I want them to be happy. Yeah. So it's not really a big deal for us Filipina to do all that because even when we're young, we play like, you know, really? remember? Yeah. <laughs> You remember we're playing house house to our yeah. do you call that kind of game? I a mother. <laughs> Bale -bale. Yeah. House house? House house like building a small we pretend that we are uh, family or like that. I was a mother and then my um my friend is a father and we used to have a family. <laughs> and yeah. have you get advice from your parents that they will teach you, they will convince you, oh you need to learn to do that. So when no. you get married, you know what to do. You know Filipino how moms are always like that, yeah. Mm -mm. We're we're um, culturally trained to be a good wife. Be yeah, because they would say that they would your relationship would even more or more stronger if you both showed some kindness to each other. You know, mm. and my mama remembered that <laughs> she would uh, tell my little sister she said you need to d learn how to do the housework because your husband will leave you if you don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my, like, yeah, right. My mom used to say because I was like probably on my third to fifth grade, and she was. Um, um, teaching me how to cook rice mm -hmm. and I didn't know how to cook back then so the rice was always like either overcooked or undercooked uh -huh. right and she was always like God oh, you're 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 no good or, or anything like that this is something this is very uh, this it's is like one thing <laughs> yeah basic thing that a girl or a woman should learn because that's yeah we are taught that this is our job Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be our job or this is supposed to be our duty to please our husbands or to be a good wife. Mm -hmm. But again, for me, it, I don't see it as a job. Mm -hmm. We do these things because we love to I do them. I agree that, yeah. And of course, it would make your man happy. We're talking about this because uh, some Western women do believe that uh, cooking and slavery. cleaning is slavery. So what's your opinion about that? Slavery. Mm -hmm. I don't see myself being slave cooking or cleaning at our house, you know, or or being with my husband in the future. Yeah, maybe other country will hire someone who will clean like that. But here in the Philippines, we, we are not used to to hire someone just to clean. If we can do that to ourselves, then why not? It is only slavery when you're forced to do it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right? But mm -hmm. um, we grew up doing these things in our parents' house. So no? we even love to spoon feed, spoon feed them. Like, like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Mm. Baby, baby. Yeah, mm. yeah we treat our the, man the like as, <laughs> as kids, as our babies, right? Mm -mm. So yeah. we even love to spoon feed them. Is that slavery? Is that being submissive? Maybe in Western country it is, but it's not for us because That's we love doing it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's not fair for um, people to actually speak about, I mean, to actually talk about something from a different culture because you've not experienced that. Um, 
you don't know about that culture yeah. really. You don't know Filipino Filipino culture. Right. How we grew up, how we were trained and all that. So I don't think it's fair for people to say, Oh, Asians are like this and like that. I mean you don't really know a thing. Yeah. So let's move into our next question. Um, is that true? The only reason we date a foreigner because we are desperate to be out and rescue from poverty? It depends on the girl. Mm. Yeah. Again, we have our own different, different, different reasons why we date foreigners. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, when I was in um, college, I wanted to date foreigners because I wanted to have um, mixed children. Mm. Mm -hmm. Me too. Like I want yeah. to have like half American, half something. I yeah. mean, half Filipina, half something. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Well, that was back then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we have our own different reasons why. But me too. I want to have a mix. Yeah, the same thing, mix. And for us, it's very beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. When you see a, a mix, a mix baby, mm -hmm. it's 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 very beautiful. There, there's a lot of reason why Filipina data. Of course, of course, in some cases, of course, to be out of poverty. But in again. Filipina, we are very simple. We don't need luxury. It's like, you know. And also, um, I really have an issue with um, people saying something like, oh, she just want to uh, get out of poverty. I mean, who doesn't want to get out of poverty? That's why we work. That's why we, we, we do things to improve our daily life situation, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We work because we want to pay our bills. Mm -hmm. Who wants to, to stay in poverty? No one, of course. Yeah. So even if a person or a Filipina, or even if her reason is to get out of poverty, and she's dating foreigners because of that, but at the same time, she's actually, she actually offers a genuine relationship, what's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. I mean, in every relationship, like even in the other country, they get married because there's some benefits with that, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a topic, one of the topics in my comment section. Some people are asking about how often we Filipina go to salon. salon and do our nails done and hair done. I have never, um, like for the past five years, I have never um, been in a salon. Uh, well, I went to the salon to cut my hair and uh, 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 fix my hair, but getting my nails done, I have never done that for, I mean, the past five years. I think it was my first time a few months ago. First it was time? my first time. <laughs> yes, in their entire life of mine. And um, yeah, and the nail, I didn't go because I don't like long nails. I, I hate it. I can't work very well when yeah. I have the long nails. It's uncomfortable for me. So I have a dirty. <laughs> For some Western women, I'm not saying I generalize it, yeah. but they like to do their nails done, spend a lot of money, money hair, eyelashes, eyelashes, hair, and uh, what else? But we Filipinas, we don't. I, for me, I accept it. Like um, simplicity is, yeah. is a more beautiful. Yeah, I mean, simple. even like us, we make money on YouTube. Not much. Yeah, <laughs> not much. I can afford to do that, but I'd rather. I'd, I'd rather save <laughs> my own nails, and you know. We are really like simple. Actually, our partner, we teach them or we tell them how to save money, right? Mm -hmm. Like we Filipinas, uh, we try to convince them to how to be live simple, yeah. right? True. Like example, our porn partner will give us like fifty dollar. Fifty dollar yeah. for us is a lot. A and lot we, already. We, sometimes we share it with our family, but yeah. for them, for so, some it's Western nothing. women, that's nothing. I mean, yeah. what they could do in fifty dollar? It's not even enough for their nails done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think. Uh, I mean. Yeah. So going back to getting your your hair and nails done um, for an average Filipina, uh, for most of the Filipinas, it's really not. Um, it's not a necessity. Mm. It is, in fact, a luxury. But even if it's a luxury for me, I don't do it. I don't like the. Personally, I don't like painting my nails because it feels heavy, mm. and I don't like long nails because, it's, like you said earlier, it's it's really not very easy to to, to do to something. Do things. Yeah. Like I do a lot of computer work. And oh, especially it's really hard. Yeah. So, but. Getting my hair done is like once a year. Buddy bun. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Uh, me too. 
All right, so last question here. Some um, Western women saying that we only want green card and we are we are we all of us dreaming to have an American life. <laughs> The, Amer yeah. the American dream. Yeah, Amer American dream or American life. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what they said. I already answered that. For, about you guys? Do you have um, an opinion about that? Actually, for me, I'm, I'm happy living in the province. I'm happy living in the province. And, um, but if I had given a chance, if I had given a chance to or go outside of the country, mm -hmm. it would be a new experience for me. And um, if but I would never stay there for an entire lifetime for me. I, I'd still want to go back to the Philippines or maybe mm. for some vacations only or experience new places, experience um, new society or experience, explore. So if I'll be there, it will not take too long and I'll come back to the Philippines and yeah. I'll be born here and I'll be dying here in the Philippines. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, just so, stay here. Yeah, that's the answer, guys. We don't, yeah. we don't, not all Filipina or most Filipina yeah. are happy to stay here in the Philippines. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not every one of us want to go to the States or yeah. to go somewhere outside our country. And um, also, when they say the American dream, what is American dream, actually? Or what is American life? Because the way I see it, it is really stressful. Like, compared to um, the Philippine life, okay. everything is so laid back, everything is so slow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everything is so slow. And um, here, even if you only have like 20 pesos in your pocket, you can still eat. True. Yeah. Back in the States, having a dollar, can you eat with one dollar? Mm. I can eat Not five really, pesos right? with one bread. Mm. Yeah. There's even two pesos, small bread already. Mm. Yeah. So for people to actually say, oh, they just love to have green card or they just love to, um, what do you call that, uh, live in the U.S. Actually, there's not a lot of us who want to live in the U.S. because living in the U.S. for us means that um, you need to work, you need to drive, you need to do yeah. things that you normally don't do in the Philippines. And we are so used to having a laid back life here where we don't have to drive. We mm. don't have to like, it's okay drive when we kilometers can, yeah. to get to a place or mm -hmm. anything like that. That's so, true. Yeah. So I would say that that statement is not really fitting to every one of us. It's true that there are many who want to live in the U.S., but a lot don't want to go there as well. To live, to visit maybe. Yeah, maybe visit. That would be fine. Mm -hmm. Besides, <laughs> we're scared to encounter Karen. <laughs> yeah, I heard there's some, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, but we have a lot of Karens here, but Filipino Karens are still nicer. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> sometimes they will try to be friends with you. <laughs> just to be, uh, no, diba? Behind your back, it's not. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, still, the Karens here is more gentle <laughs> compared to <Yeah>. yours there. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's um, our topic today. I'm going to have to leave it here, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you, ladies, for, um, you know. Thank you so much. I enjoyed eating. And then again, Shay Travels. I just came here to eat, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, her name is, uh, or YouTube channel names is Shay Travels. Is that correct? Filipina Shay Travels. And Province Life with Giselle. Please visit our YouTube channel and subscribe. Yeah. Yes, for more please. videos. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, don't forget to visit there. They make informative video. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So we're struggling to finish this. <laughs> it's really spicy. Yeah. Thank you guys. And I really do enjoy our conversation today. Thank you. Bye. Stay safe. I'll see you in my next Bye -bye. video.